What is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger. Make sure you smash that subscribe button right now and give this video a big thumbs up. As you can see from the title and the thumbnail, today is the day I'm finally doing the Rating My Subscriber Cars video. You know what I'm saying? So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm not good with, like, Photoshop and all of that and, like, editing. I'm really... <laughs> I am just like an average like iMovie only put the clips together you know what I mean do what you gotta do type good transitions and all of that and boom you know what I'm saying there goes your video I'm not hey I don't know how to split the the screen in half and put the car up on the screen so what I will be doing is splitting it and uh, I mean putting the cars on the screen and then you guys will see the car but i'll also just be talking about the car from off of my phone so first runner up is going to be at adrian nine underscore his instagram is going to pop up right here um and this is his car so i'm not gonna lie uh off the rip basically what i'm doing is i'm rating you guys as cars your builds from one to ten ten being straight fire fuego you dig what i'm saying one being uh it's not my taste now this is my personal opinion i don't want you guys going and getting upset or angry at me for my personal opinion it's my opinion you know what i mean you know you knew what you were getting yourself into when you submitted your car don't hate me okay so without further ado let's go ahead and get into my boy adrian's i'm not gonna lie I'm gonna be honest. The wheels, I'm really rocking with the wheels. And y'all know, fitment and like being low in stance, like that's that's low key my thing. I love Camaros, like slam to the floor, pancake. It's they look good. So I see you got the wheels going with the spiked lug nuts, bro. I love the lug nuts. I like the clear side markers. That's a real good touch. Um, the chrome on the fog lights kind of tie. I wouldn't be, you know what I mean, my personal preference, but. It does tie in with the wheels, so I will give you that. Um, I like the little uh, lip that you got on the bottom of your, your bumper. It looks good with the um, blacked out Chevy bow tie with the chrome going. So, I'm not going to lie. This is a clean build. It's nice, simple, and clean. I'm going to go ahead and give this one... I'm going to give this one an 8. I'm going to give this one an 8. Just because there's some more stuff that i would like to see to it you know what i mean you could probably throw on some side skirts on there um you know what i mean probably yeah i would just throw some side skirts on there and you should be gucci to be honest with you so i'm gonna go ahead and give this one an eight okay on to the next one now this this is my guy his instagram is yank underscore ls3 but it's T-R-E for the three. It's gonna pop up right here. Y'all go check him out. Um, and this is his car. Now, bro, this is one of my Florida boys. Yo, <laughs> straight off the rip, my man's is bagged, all right? He's bagged, he's running the six gen 1LE front bumper conversion on his car with the, um, like, it's just with the three piece wheels, fully polished, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, and then uh, those look like the ZL1 side skirts on there. And instead of like on the on the little plaque, if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, I also did this same conversion on my V6. Um, I'll post a picture right now. Yeah, man. So on the front bumper, there's like a little plaque where they would put ZL1. I like how he has LS3 right there. That was clean. What I was gonna do was I was gonna put JIP for ji productions on that plaque so that ls3 is clean we're not claiming that we're a zl1 or anything like that we're not false claiming false badging whatever you want to call it um this is a really clean build you know what i mean um and i i know like the exhaust setup and all of that and it sounds insane the rear end is ridiculous on this car so i'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give my boy Yank. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a nine and a half, um, just because I would love to see like maybe like a little like a, a side skirt like 
extension just a little bit just to come out a little bit and just really offset the amount of camber that you're running when you're aired out but yeah man i'll definitely give you a nine yeah a nine that joint is just beautiful man god damn <laughs> okay coming up next we have my boy sideways underscore steve instagram pops up right here like i say um and this is his car so i'm not gonna lie i dig the color you know what i mean i really do i like the finish on the wheels the wheels it's themselves and eh, they're kind of in eh for me now 350z's 370z's i really like those cars i'm not gonna lie i kind of I've, I've debated on getting one um you know what i mean for like just a project car a daily car something to drive around once i can miss one you know what i mean i will daily this car but not nothing too crazy once i go really like deep into the boltons because you know things are going to break and i'm gonna need a secondary car 350z would definitely be something that i would look into um i like that you have the supporting rods for your splitter paint match to the wrap um i really like that the tinted tail lights um, and reverse lights gives it a clean um, menacing look. I'm not a fan of louvers like I just really don't like window louvers However, I do like the duck bill that you got on the um, on the trunk um, For this one I'm gonna have to Like I like the diffuser you know what I mean uh this one i'm gonna give it eight yeah i'm gonna give this one an eight just because um i would like to see like you know some side skirts on there um some stuff like that but uh yeah man I i'd have to give this one an eight next we got my boy six six dot two d my boy darius what's good bro you already know you know what i mean his instagram pops up right here and this is his car so basically we got another 6.2 bro um he's tuned by ms tuning um but for the picture only right um the wheels you know what i mean i like the wheels um not like something that i would personally choose for my car but the color itself the paint color this vi this picture does not do it justice because there's a filter on it but it's like that atomic red that chevy has I really really love that paint color um it's really not that much done aesthetic wise to the car I would like to see um a front splitter maybe some side skirts a diffuser on there something like that but then again you just got the car so just going off the picture I'm gonna have to give this one I'll give this one I damn um Probably a seven, bro. I'm gonna have to give this one a seven. Alrighty. Next, my boy underscore dot fabo dot underscore. It's gonna pop up right here. And this is his car. It's a Honda Genesis. Um again, not too many aesthetic mods. Um looking at the wheels. There, I like the concave in the rear. I hate it when wheel companies do that where they put an insane amount or just the right amount of concave in the rear wheel but in the front there's none i hate that why do y'all do that to us um i like that you got the roof wrapped um i think it's gloss black but in the picture it kind of looks satin because of the filter um for this one i'm gonna have to give it a seven as well man just because i i, I want to see i want to see what you do further on into the build um definitely would like to see it a little lower in the front end um probably a front splitter on there some side skirts you know what i mean i know you got some things up your sleeve brody all right next we got my boy htx ss underscore underscore pops up right here it's my boy josh um and then this is his car now you know what i'm saying big uh z28 replica type you know what i'm saying my boy coming for the z28s um i like the z28 front splitter i like the wheels man y'all already know on hazel i had the z28s with the bronze finish um really really dig those wheels um these 
I like I like the chrome, not the chrome, but like the brushed finished. I like those. Um, it's just it's it's simple but clean. I know you like to keep your cars like relatively stock as far as like looking stock from factory. Um, but yeah, man, I would definitely love to see some side skirts on here. Um, you already know we talked about lowering the car. You got to get that wheel gap. Just a little, you barely got any to be honest, but just got to drop it down just a little bit, just a little bit, Josh. You know what I'm saying? Um, for this one. And this one, I, I'll give you an 8, bro. I'll give you an 8. Next, we got... All right, next, we got my boy Vincent. You dig what I'm saying? His Instagram pops up right here, and this is his car. A white marrow, bro. You dig? <laughs> but nah, man. So, you got the white and black going on. The state... the What's what's it called? The trooper look or something? Stormtrooper look off of uh, uh, Star Wars. Off of Star Wars. This picture, I like it. Um... I like the roof, the hood wrap. I'm not sure if you have your roof wrap too. So if you have like the whole black moop going through, um, not 100% sure. I've actually yet to see your car in person because it's in the shop. Um, I would definitely love to see some side skirts and a splitter on there. Those are like, those are like the main things for me. I really like to see the arrow um, on the body. You know what I mean? Like the side skirts diffuser front splitter even though i can't keep a front splitter on my car for more than five hours <laughs> oh man i put my splitter on and it literally lasted five hours g it hit it was on the freeway it got caught on the freeway and it ripped right off after the uh cars across texas meet if you haven't seen that video go check it out i'll put a card up but anyway back to this uh back to the rating my boy vincent um you know, I would like to see some more stuff done as far as aesthetics go. Maybe, you know, hit up the uh, light insurance for the RGB headlights and fogs. Um, sheesh. Um, I probably have to give you an 8, Brody, to be honest. Um, I can't wait to see what else you got up your sleeve. On to the next one. My boy at T underscore Rasta underscore 4.2. Instagram pops up right here. This is his car. Um, I'm gonna be honest, Brody. With these wheels, I was never a fan of these wheels. Again, this is my personal opinion. Do not hate me, okay? Y'all are still the homies, regardless of what goes on in this video. Do not hate me. All right, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Those wheels, I was never a fan of. However, I do like that you got the tire stickers on there. That definitely sets the car apart. Um... The front grills being in that chrome finish, ah, ah, ah. I really don't, I'm not rocking with that, but I'm not going to lie, I'm not rocking with that. But then again, you know what I'm saying, to each their own, it's just that chrome, like Chevy's chrome is like so cap, bro. I really hate it. Like. For the 2010 to 2013, no, not 13, 2010 to 2012, the steering wheel, y'all know how it had like the circle steering wheel, right? And the airbag was a circle, and then it said Camaro, and there was a ring of chrome. That chrome peels after a while, like I hate that, like it's like, ugh, I hate, I hate that they do that. So with this one, um, I'm gonna have to give it like a six and a half, brother. Um, I would definitely like to see front splitter, maybe some side skirts, and a spoiler on the back end. Definitely, definitely would set the car off. Um, but yeah, man, I'm gonna have to give this one a six and a half. On to the next one. My boy, HTX RS. My boy, Daniel. Big forever love. You dig what I'm saying? Instagram pops up right here, and this is his car. Alrighty, man. Uh, Daniel. You already know, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Your wheel setup, your wheel entire setup, big chunky monkey, man. I love that shit. Um, stripes, man. Stripes. I already told you, brody. I'm not a big fan of stripes at all. Um, but you know what I mean. Uh, my 
my boy Daniel, my boy Daniel. I would definitely like to see you throw some uh, a front splitter, some slide skirts on there. It would definitely help out with the uh, how chunky and aggressive your front wheels, I mean your wheels are. Um, I like that you got the Chevy bow tie blacked out with the chrome left. I like that. Um, the blacked out side markers definitely, definitely a must. No cap. LED fogs, definitely a must, especially when you got the halo rings, it just sets it off. I need to get the LED fogs too, bro. I'm coming. Um, my boy Daniel, I'm gonna have to get his joint a seven, bro. Matter of fact, I'll give you a seven and a half, no cap, because I really, 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 really like your wheel and tire setup, you know what I'm saying? Let me know when you're ready to let them go. Let me know when you're ready to let them go, bro. No cap. On to the next one. We got my boy at light.lfx. Instagram pops up right here. And this is his car. So, again, we got another 6th gen conversion for the ZL1 front bumper. Um, I definitely like that. I love the color of your car. You got the side skirts. I love the side skirts. The wheels, I really... I'm gonna be honest. I kind of, I'm, I'm actually kind of digging those. They're like the Z28s, but like the more, I feel like those were like the refined ones, though. You know what I mean? Like the Z28s that I had and um that you saw in Joss's car, I, those are not like the same as these. If I'm not mistaken, like they don't, they don't look. You know what I mean? They have like y'all gotta go to his Instagram and go look at the wheels. They're like, I don't know. I want to say like the line, the angles of the lines are like not as hard. You know what I mean? Like, they're softer. Um, I see you got the carbon fiber hood. Definitely a must. Definitely a must. Those headlights, those were always iffy for me, personally. I'm not going to lie. They look good on your car, though. I like your clear side markers. I love that you got the tire stickers. Definitely need the tire stickers in my life. Um, I like that you got the fog lights. I don't know if they're connected or not. You might just not have them on right now. But, um... I'm going to go ahead and give you, Brody, um, damn, if you, if you had the, if you had those 6th gen, um, conversion headlights on this joint, ooh, minty, you know what I'm saying, uh, you definitely, definitely got to get that front end lowered a little bit, um, that wheel gap is just yikes, man. I hate that they make Camaro sit so high stock. Bro, it's a sports car. You know what I'm saying? It's a muscle car. Give me, like, a little bit of gap. We're not riding around in a freaking RAV4. You know what I'm saying? Like, give, like, Chevy be tripping, dog. I like that you blacked out the Camaro. I ain't even noticed that. See, you can't even see that. You know, like, the Camaro wording on the fenders, you can't even see that. Um, until you like legit look at it. Um, I'm gonna have to give this one. I'm gonna give you an eight and a half, Brody. An eight and a half. Yeah. All right, on to the next one. We got my boy at Lewis underscore R1310. Pops up right here, and this is his car. My boy, big, you know what I'm saying? Big drag pack on the back end. You feel me? Sheesh. This joint right here, big scat charge challenger, you know what I'm saying? I like the blue. Um, I would definitely like to see the side markers blacked out. It would definitely, I feel like it would definitely tie in um, the look of the car. Maybe some 5% tint. You already know you gotta have that 5% tint so they can't see inside my window. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know you got your hood pop because you a fast boy. I know it. I know it, brother. I right? I know. Goddamn. Um, my boy Lewis, I would definitely like to see some side skirts on here. I know you really don't care for them because you're doing like 1A every day, you know what I'm saying? Down the motherfucking street, goddamn. But um, definitely would like to see some side skirts on this joint. Challengers actually have like this. If Camaros could come with this amount of wheel gap, perfect, bro. It's nothing too crazy. Um, I would definitely, definitely like to see those side markers blacked out though for sure. Um, my boy Lewis with the drag pack on the rear end. I'm gonna have to go ahead and give this joint an eight. Yup, on to the next one. We got J.I. Kush <laughs> I K A S H I T E M O. It pops up right here, and this is his car. So, 
This is a big 2020 or 2019. This is the refresh. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still not a fan of the front end. Why did they do that? Uh, why did they do that? See, Chevy be capping. Fuck. Um, you know what I'm saying? Got your little Bernie going, you know, burning them tires a little bit. I see you. Um, I do like the color of the car. I would definitely like to see, you know, some arrow on there, front splitters, side skirts. Gotta lower it a little bit, you know what I mean? Wheel gap's nothing, wheel gap is nothing too crazy, but definitely would like to see about two fingers taken off at that wheel gap, to be honest with you. Um, this joint, you know what I mean, pretty much stock boy. I really don't like the front end. I have to get this one. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sheesh. I get this one at six and a half. Yeah. Um, on to the next one. So we got my boy at James.gz. Wide body mooks. Here come the wide bodies. <laughs> so we got the, again, his Instagram pops up right here. <laughs> and this is his car. So again, we have the 6th gen Z01 front bumpers conversion with the headlights my boy got the candy red on the feet you know what i'm saying with the wide body kit that i had on hazel um if you guys were here for that short period of time when hazel was wide bodied um this car i would definitely definitely go ahead and love to see it lowered a little bit in this picture you can't really tell that it has wheel gap um i would definitely give this car wide body and all uh I'll give this one an eight, eight and a half. I'll give this one an eight and a half. I would definitely love to see you lower it, bro. I know it's going in to get wrapped. Can't wait to see what color you go with um, and how the car comes out. Love the wheels, though. But yeah, I'm going to give this one an eight, Brody. All right. Next, we have my boy at CI Efren. I know I just butchered the hell out of your name, Brody. You already know I wouldn't. You already know, bro. Instagram pops up right here, and this is his car. My boy, big wide body. He just got the bags with the 6th gen wide body on the back end. 6th um, gen conversion, uh, completely done with the fog lights. Three-piece wheels, deep dishes, hell in the rear. Um, with the wicker bill, definitely love to see a side skirt on there eventually. Um, this one... Would definitely love to see it paint matched. Mm -hmm. She got the wide body on there to go. Mm -hmm. For now, I'm gonna give this one about a seven and a half or an eight. I'm, I'm kind of torn between the two. I'm gonna give this one a seven and a half or an eight, just because I can't wait to see you paint match it and see what colors you go with. Um, definitely want to see some side skirts on there. But yeah, Brody. I'm saying, you know, it's all love. Jeez, okay. Sorry, y'all. Ran out of storage on my memory card. <laughs> anyway, last one is the Brody at C1LE underscore Camaro. Instagram pops up right here, and this is his car. My boy just got that fresh wrap. It's like a pearl satin white. It's stupid in the light. Love that you got the carbon fiber hood on there, Brody. Um like the splitter and the side skirts definitely of the wheel the wheel entire setup this is the exact front grill that i was gonna run on my stock front bumper um this one with the blacked out mirrors i like that this one bro i'm gonna give i'm gonna give this one a nine i'm gonna give this one a nine for sure definitely a clean build man but without further ado that was the last uh build to be uploaded for this ratings video if you guys like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up again do not butcher me in the comments or do not think you know what i'm saying you gotta hate me now because i rated your car low or high or lower than what you were expecting again this is my opinion given the ji touch how i would you know what i'm saying how i see it um you know what I mean? It's all love. It'll always be love between me and y'all and everybody out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, man, without further ado, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you're new to the channel, man, please, 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 please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button down below and turn on those post notifications. Those are 
the two most key things on YouTube post notifications and subscribe make sure you're subscribed and you got the post notifications on uh, drop a comment in the comment section down below without further ado you know what I'm saying it's been your boy JR let me know in the comments down below if y'all want me to make this like a regular thing if you miss this submission it's all good follow me on instagram ji underscore productions underscore underscore that's definitely you know what i mean where you'll get the most up-to-date alerts and whenever i'm doing something spontaneous like this you know what i mean go ahead follow me right now let me know down in the comments below if y'all want to see this uh rating stuff done again on the channel i'll definitely be hyped to do it a lot of um you know what i mean a lot of the homies that submitted their cars literally just got their cars you know what i mean so i would definitely love to do an updated version once you guys get into that bag a little bit and start adding more to your cars but without further ado that's gonna be it for this one if you're new to the channel like i said hit that subscribe button i'm gonna see y'all in the next one peace